Stephen Loosley was a Labour senator from 1990 to 1995 and a former party president. He joins me now in the studio. So, Stephen Loosley, how much pressure is the government under now that Peter Slipper has stepped aside? I think pressure is, uh, is greater as a consequence of uh, the Speaker stepping aside, simply in terms of the numerical circumstance in the House where the government's uh, discipline and the levels of cooperation uh, with the independents in the House of Representatives assume an even uh, greater significance. But the discipline's been uh, very effective for the minority government, both in terms of the parliamentary Labor Party and in terms of relations with the, uh, the independents and the Greens. So uh, in the short term, uh, I think the focus on the uh, budget will see the discipline uh, hold uh, over the longer term. Uh, obviously, uh, until these uh, issues about Mr Slipper are resolved, it's going to be uh, just that little bit more difficult for the uh, Gillard government. You mentioned the independence there. What's Andrew Wilkie likely to do? Will he stay in line? Difficult to say. He seems uh, to be uh, aggrieved over the uh, inability of the parliament to pass the uh, poker machine legislation uh, to which he's been uh, committed. So I don't think the government can rely automatically upon uh, Mr Wilkie's uh, vote. Uh, having said that, I think the uh, discipline that the government's uh, displayed on contentious uh, bills on difficult uh, items has been exemplary. Uh, and when the history of this government uh, is, uh, is written, that will really be one of the outstanding uh, features. So I think we're a long way from seeing uh, the kind of uh, uh, turmoil that uh, some commentators are suggesting. Do you smell a rat in all this? Two separate lots of allegations coming out at the same time. Well, they are allegations. I think that's the important thing, and allegations uh, only. Uh, I have uh, old-fashioned views on uh, this, that people are entitled to the presumption of innocence. Uh, often these days we seem to want to convict people on the basis of a of a headline. Mr Slippers uh, stood aside, that was appropriate. He said uh, he wants to see the, uh, uh, the serious allegations that are of uh, potentially criminal uh, uh, consequence uh, resolved. Uh, uh, once uh, resolved, he maintains he'll return to the Speakership. That's also appropriate. The other uh, matters, the sexual harassment matters, are, are serious too, obviously, but they're matters of a uh, civil nature. It's a civil uh, lawsuit, so they are, uh, they're of a, a different uh, consequence. So I think the Speaker's taken the appropriate uh, position and uh, really you know, let the uh, pro due processes of law work themselves out. Mm. What's your view of Peter Slipper? Well, uh, Mr Slipper uh, was a, uh, an active uh, member of the uh, Queensland uh, Conservative ranks for uh, some time. Uh, in terms of his uh, uh, ability to manage the Parliament, I think he's been first class. Uh, I can't think of... Uh, of an error of judgment he's made in terms of the chair. Having said that, these are serious issues and they need to be tested. Uh, Mr Slipper's entitled to the presumption of innocence, but uh, serious matters of this nature in our system of laws really need to be examined and, uh, and the appropriate uh, uh, resolutions uh, are found. If Mr Slipper is innocent of the uh, allegations made, he's entitled to return to the speakership in, uh, in due course. Stephen Loosley, thank you for your thoughts. It's a pleasure, Ross.